has been caught red-handed cheating. Just look at this tracking. I got big up. I just fucking hacked on my dad. Oh my god. Yo. He quickly realized how bad this looks, so he took to Twitter to try and play it off as rotational aim assist. This is complete and utter nonsense. He knows he has been caught this time. Look at his face. But, this is not aimbot. This is what happens when streamers use DS4 windows with extra aim assist. This is 100% proof that FIFA Kill uses these scripts. Forget about aimbot. These streamers are even using Chronismax within DS4 windows and even strike packs. This must be stopped. You do not even need to use aimbot when DS4 windows can achieve the same result. This is why Call of Shame want DS4 windows banned. All these streamers know about this. They all use it. This is a legal aimbot and must be banned immediately. Look at these pathetic losers talking about it years ago. They're taking you for a fool. They're not good players. So, I, so, okay, so I've never, I have never been shadow banned ever. But apparently, a lot of the wager kids, a lot of the, I'm not saying everybody that's been shadow banned is grimy so before, but apparently a lot of people that get shadow banned all the time, apparently there's like a, either through its DS4 or something, that if you use the program that you can change your controller dead zone, on on this app or something yep and through the app it will actually like basically give you more aim assist through yeah, this like app. That you have like a rotational all the time exactly so apparently a lot of the people that are getting shadow banned it's not like they're doing that for sure but a lot of people know about it and like it kept it like super hush hush and that could have been part of the reason why people get shadow banned all the time how much proof do i have to present that these high profile streamers are cheating it's right there these scumbags have all manipulated third-party software to achieve not only extra aim assist, but also no recoil, macros and much more. Forget about aimbot and wall hacks. These streamers want you all to think they are all using aimbot. The real problem lies with programs like DS4 Windows. Remove that and these streamers are absolute trash. You don't even need to inject any cheats when using DS4 Windows and manipulating the game mechanics. It's crazy. Meanwhile, back banned Natasha has caused mayhem on Twitter. She put every old school Call of Duty title in an F tier. This female, who fled to Warzone because she was back banned on Counter Strike for using cheat software, actually believes every previous Call of Duty title is trash. These streamers are all from lockdown, when they were fired from the fast food industry. Another female responded and says everyone should be blessed with Natasha's arrival to Warzone. She even confirmed it is her genuine list. Do you agree with her? Let me know in the comments. She posted a video on Twitter trying to show how good she is. However, she self-exposed herself by demonstrating her aim assist when she is using mouse and keyboard while shooting through smoke. Mouse and keyboard players do not get any aim assist, yet Natasha has more aim assist than a controller player. She is also using third-party software to benefit from aim assist on mouse and keyboard, similar to Breadman. She uses DS4 windows by remapping the keys to the virtual controller buttons. These frauds know every trick in the book. Absolute clown behavior. I previously spoke about Ricochet's silent update and how they have banned a massive amount of cheaters. They have officially released a statement yesterday. The Ricochet anti-cheat team has now purged the ranked play leaderboards in both Call of Duty Warzone and Modern Warfare 3, banning accounts for cheating and boosting. Team Ricochet has accelerated cheat vendor enforcements resulting in over 65,000 account bans across ranked play and non-ranked modes in Warzone and MW3 this week. Um, the team will continue to monitor and issue enforcements. Enforce meant to anyone cheating or boosting in all game modes. So, yeah, that's it. If they're banning boosters, then please ban this idiot. This streamer is actually offering a boosting service. This is 100% boosting. And this idiot runs tournaments for Warzone streamers. The official Call of Duty podcast used this fraud to organize these corrupt tournaments while promoting a boosting service. Repulse uses this individual to run his tournaments. But this is just the tip of the iceberg. This person is corrupt and actually covers up for permanently banned streamers that have been caught by Ricochet by offering fake PC checks. 
The entire war zone scene is filled with lies, fraud and corruption. The person she is defending was permanently banned by Ricochet for using cheat software, and actually kicked out of the World Series of Warzone and purged from the leaderboard. This is a cheating streamer. Everyone remember this name, take a good long look. This streamer was permanently banned by Ricochet. This is a 100% confirmed cheating streamer.